Hi everyone, it's Shelly with InbalanceNaturally.com. We're going to talk about brows today at the high-end beauty counter that I work at doing cosmetics and skin care. A lot of women my age come in, they don't know what to do with their brows, they haven't done anything with their brows for years. So I was one of the slow pokes at one time also and I decided to get with the program. So I want you to get with the program and be polished as well. It's very, very simple, but it does take some play. Let's not call it work, let's call it experimentation. So I was using just a regular slanted brush with some eyeshadow. Using this color, it's a Maybelline Mocha Motion is the name of the palette. Maybe that'll work for you. At first I looked at the color and I thought, well, that's too light, but you really do have to experiment and put colors on your brow, especially as you age and thinking about the seasons, summer and winter. So that might work for you. And there is a trick to get things to stay. You can use eyeshadow primer on the end of the brow so that you can put the little tail on there. Right now I'm having glorious good luck with a Milani Brow Stay Put Pomade. Love it. It comes with a great brush. It's a little bit harder than say the Smashbox one that I used for a while. Uh, or even one of the elves that I've used to really get up in there and define. Now there are a lot of brow pencils, the skinny ones, the fatter ones. I tend to recommend to my private clients who come in for makeup help, I like the wider pencils instead of the tiny little pencils that are popular for some of the younger girls now because I don't want to spend a lot of time on my brows. 20-25 seconds and I'm done. So if that's your kind of brow, then here we go. I'm just dipping the brush into the pomade. I leave my glasses on. I'm going to groom the brow. I always do it very, very lightly because it's not like brushing your teeth where you've got to make something happen. And then remember to use tiny little strokes. You're barely, barely touching the brow. You're not doing a Betty Davis. And some of my clients laugh because they actually remember Betty Davis. So you're not doing a one-stroke wonder where you put it down and you go like that and you're done. That's way, way too rough. So that's what, 15 seconds? And then the other part of it, to keep it really simple for you ladies, is the brow should start right there. I have women that come in and they have the unibrow. You need to go and get them plucked, whether it's your sister, your daughter, go to somebody, a professional, make sure you see their work, and then you want it to end there. I have women that come in and the brow stops there, and that makes me want to talk to them about, let's do a little coloring in. Some of the women color their brow in and it stops way down here, so you just want to have it stop right there. So experiment with brushes. There's so many great brushes. I want to thank ELF for making affordable things uh, on the market available. And uh, I also want to thank Milani. They have some fantastic products. So experiment with those. And this is Shelly with InbalanceNaturally.com specializing in natural skin care. If you have lines and wrinkles and you, your skin is dry and needs to be rehydrated, that's what I specialize in. Shelly with InbalanceNaturally.com and may the goddess in you be drawn out and welcomed into your life every single day, even if you only get up to do that. 
look forward to answering your questions and helping you. Bye for now.